Hello, dear traders. My name is Clara, and these are the main trading ideas for the current trading session. First of all, let's discuss the situation with the euro against the dollar. The pair is trading near 1.0880. Earlier, the euro was supported by European statistics. Thus, preliminary data on the GDP of Germany and the eurozone for the third quarter, as well as the inflation report in Germany, were presented to traders. According to the data, the European economy grew by 0.4% in the third quarter against the forecast for growth of 0.2%. The improvement in indicators was a consequence of the growth of business optimism against the background of a steady decline in inflation and a reduction in interest rates by the European Central Bank. Meanwhile, the German economy grew by 0.2% over the same period, while analysts predicted a decline of 0.1%. Thus, Germany was able to avoid a technical recession. Today, data on the U.S. labor market, non-farm payrolls will be released. If the report disappoints, the euro will continue to grow. Next, Brent. Oil is trading at $74 per barrel. The Energy Information Administration's oil inventory report released earlier showed a decline of 0.5 million barrels versus a forecast of 1.5 million. Meanwhile, China's business activity grew last month, indicating that government measures to support the economy have been effective. Thus, the index for the industrial sector increased from 50 points to 50.2 points. Additional support for prices is provided by the expectation of a postponement of the increase in oil production by 180,000 barrels per day by OPEC+. Given this, local growth in oil may continue. And finally, dollar against yen. The pair is consolidating near 152.50. Investors are focusing on the results of the Bank of Japan meeting, where the regulator kept the key rate at 0.25%. However, Bank of Japan Governor Kazuo Ueda told reporters that there is no specific plan to raise interest rates, and each next step by the monetary authorities will depend on incoming economic data. It should be noted that most economists polled by Reuters still believe that the Bank of Japan will not switch to a hawkish course in the near future. This is also supported by the ongoing political uncertainty in Japan after the Liberal Democratic Party lost the parliamentary elections. Against this background, the pair may continue to grow. So, these are the main trading ideas for now. Thank you for your attention, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.